Hello students, today let us learn how to draw isometric projection of an hexagonal prism as well as cone. So it's a combination of solids. So where we keep cone on, so where we keep cone on top of hexagonal prism. Click on new, select drawing, okay. A4 297 210 click OK MMGS millimeter gram second 1 is to 1 right click on sheet 1 properties first angle projection apply changes go to annotation note I will paste the question which I copied so this is the question which we will be solving today so we will be solving question on external prism of base 40 height 60 with the right circular cone of base 50 height 60 is resting on top such that axes are collinear okay let us draw first external prism so go to sketch draw xy line go to polygon number of sides is uh, 6 so draw polygon select any one of the sides make it horizontal Smart dimension on any one of the side. So they are given side is of 40 mm. So type 40 mm. Type 40. Draw x one line here. This is the center. That is the axis from here to here. Go to smart dimension. Dimension this line. Axis is 60 mm. Type 60. 60. Axis is 60. Now generate the top view sorry front view that is drop projectors from the top view to get the front view drop the projectors any excess line you can just trim using power trim go to line draw the base draw outline then the lateral edges delete the circle select all the lines make it to 0.5 hold control key you can select these two lines and make it to 0.5 same thing here except the axis line remaining line should be 0.5 this axis line should be chain type chain type next cone cone is having a diameter of 50 so draw a circle of dia 50 dia 55 0 now draw projectors from the top view towards the front view if you are not able to snap extend it beyond the permissible height later trim it now draw the axis and complete the cone cone is seen as a triangle in from front so this is how it appears from front select these two make it to 0.5 so this is how it is seen from front and top orthographic projection of combination of the solid now what we have to do is we have to draw isometric so isometric projection so let me draw the reference line first draw two angle lines at an angle of 30 degree 30 zero, 30 zero. both will be making an angle of 30 degree now if you draw a box enclose this in a box so from here to here be careful select only the end points do not select any other point and the box should be horizontal vertical do not try to draw any random lines so it should be horizontal if alignment in indicator is not working you can draw horizontal vertical lines as you can see here when i click on this line the dimension is showing 80 mm so the length will be 80 mm i will go to smart dimension and i will dimension this as 80 i'll dimension this as 80 and this side if you observe the dimensions from here to here if you observe it is 69.28 Okay. So 69.28 is the dimension on the other side. So go to smart dimension, measure this as 
9.28 right next go to copy entities copy the side start point from here till here press escape go to copy entities select this line click on start point from here till here like this you can complete the box this is the length this is the depth now we have to mark the points from here to here it is 20 you can observe the distance is 20 40 20 total length is 80 draw a line from this to this this to this only to make sure that the connections are established later you can delete those lines now i'll go to line draw a line from here to here approximately 20 simply draw a line here of approximately 20 go to smart dimension select this point search for the end point which i have just drawn now dimension it 20. you should always keep an eye on the profile so the shape should not change so you can see here 20. so there is no change in the profile so everything is intact now i can copy this line and i can paste it at the other end or else i can go to line and i can draw it off 20 and 20 again here so go to smart dimension dimension this has 20 20 similarly dimension this as 20 so you not mark see here the problem uh, you can see the constraints so the line has shifted so what you can do now in this case select this point select this point merge so now it will be in line so whenever due to the constraints problem at that time you will face this okay you can apply merge and you can coincide the lines to cross check whether what you have drawn is correct or not you can just click on the line you will get to know the value 69.2820323 so the same value where it is same value i have given here so 69.2820323 so both the sides are having same length here also 80 30 degree here 80 30 degree you can always copy this dimensions and you can include that here okay even if you put 69.28 it's correct now let us complete this hexagon go to line select the points from this to midpoint here from here to the midpoint here complete this so i need one more line here and i need one more line here so this is the hexagon base so you can select those sides and you can make it thick so that you will have a better visualization okay this is the line which i have drawn now 0.5 similarly draw a box select the line point it to point five. this is the hexagon base how to draw the top face how do i move it so you can go to move entities select all the entities go to move entities start point select this let me move it a little bit here okay i'll say okay so i move it so that i have sufficient space for the cone now let me draw the axis where is the axis if you connect this to this the center will be the axis this is the center so draw a vertical line of 60 m so go to line 66 0 6 0 now what you should do is you should go to copy entities copy entities select the box select the box select the vertical sorry the hexagonal shape select using box select using box so select the lines which are required start point start point is this end point is this okay this is start point end point so i have copied this entire hexagon from here to here now you can connect the lines from here to here and you can this is h axis that is the height now you can make the lines which are visible which are hidden easily and you can change it so this line will be visible this line will be visible this line will be visible this will be visible. select those lines make it to point five. now that this is hidden this is hidden so make it to point one five point one eight 
how to select this line draw box and select draw box and select make it to point only so like this we can complete the hexagon so here we have to keep this cone on top of this so in order to put cone on top of this so what i will do is i'll be drawing cone individually so i'll go to line i will draw a reference line that is horizontal line then i'll draw 30 degree i'll be using four center method in order to get the ellipse because when you incline the cone in order to see all three faces the circle will appear as an ellipse so that ellipse has to be drawn so for that i will draw 30 degree this circle should be enclosed in a box so that box will be having a dimension of 50 mm so diameter is 50 this will be 50 this will be 50 now since both the sides are equal you can always go to mirror and you can mirror it so go to go to mirror entities mirror entities entities to mirror this and this mirror about this click ok after completion of this i will be moving it from this center to this center okay now right now we are drawing it away from it now i should use four center method to draw the ellipse so go to line connect from this corner to the midpoint this corner to the midpoint after connection of this go to arc by center point so select this intersection point as your center draw an arc trim the excess arc go to arc by center point select this as center this as a radius hmm? this is a radius go to trim trim this part now either you can use mirror or you can draw arcs again suppose for example now in this case if you are not getting intersection point trim the some portion of line now you will get the point this will be the center and this will be your radius now after drawing the arc extend this line go to trim entities trim it you can mirror this easily mirror entities entities to mirror this mirror about this click ok like this you can make use of mirror so this is the center of the ellipse from here i will give the axis height the axis height is 60 mm okay the given axis height is 60 here i didn't dimension it actually it should be 60 so type 60 type 60 so this is 60 mm height so here also i should give the dimension as 60 six zero don't worry that it is coming out of the sheet later i will move it hmm? the 60 mm now from here i should draw a line which is tangent to the ellipse okay you can just keep moving the cursor you can see here at some point of time it will show you the tangent point click okay now once i got this i can make use of mirror entities go to mirror entities entities to mirror this mirror about this click ok click ok now if I should move this cone exactly here. Before that, I'll make the contain lines. So exactly at this point, the arc should be thin. So you can just trim this portion, small bit of it. Select this line, select this arc, select this arc, select this arc, select this. Go to line thickness, make it to 0.5. This is how the cone will appear in isometric projection. Go to move entities, move entities. Select everything, start point, this is the start point and this is the end point because the axis should be collinear. Click OK. Click OK. Now the object has been moved. Now you can clearly see the things. Now the problem here is some portion is visible, some portion is hidden. So this portion is hidden. So you can trim it off. So you can see this. You can join this with thin line. Not a problem. Similarly, you can join this to this with thin line or you can really leave it as it is next thing is delete all the linear dimensions that is the angular uh, sorry length dimensions angular should be retained as it is okay let the angle remain same only delete the linear dimensions angular dimension should be retained now what I should do, 
after deleting the dimensions, I'll go to scale entities. I will select the object, scale about this point, scaling factor 0.816. Click, observe the change. Click OK. Click OK. So now I have applied the scale. You can always confirm by selecting all the sides. You can see here. So this height 60 mm has been reduced to 48.96. So I'll go to trim. I'll try to remove this portion which is not required. Like this. You can trim the portion. Make sure it doesn't disturb the drawing. Very important. The drawing, if it gets changed, then it will be a problem. You can delete this 30 degree line angle, no problem. Okay. Trim. As soon as you trim, there should be no change. Observe that, very important. If it changes, then be careful. There should be no change in the shape of the figure. These lines either can be thin or you can trim it. Even if you leave it as it is, not a problem. Or you can trim it as I am showing to you. But be careful. It should never disturb the drawing. If at all, if it disturbs, better to leave it. Hmm? Do not trim it. So this completes the problem. Isometric projection of hexagonal prism where we have kept cone on top of it.